Big ass face? Yes! What are you drinking tonight? I, well, I'm taking two bottles of wine. Look it, he exists. I feel like there's so many vlogs like in a row, he'll be in the vlogs and then he'll disappear for like three vlogs and then he'll be in the next three. Um, okay, so we're about to head over to some friends. So I wanted to share this little recipe with you guys when my subscribers gave it to me. I'm gonna kind of do a little, add a little something. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I'm gonna kind of make a little dip recipe for tonight. It's two, what she said is it's two ingredients. So hers was just cream cheese and pesto. I'm doing cream cheese, pesto and diced tomatoes. We're going to set the oven to 400. Honey, can you try on this shirt before? You need to make sure it fits you. <gasps> oh, I got hiccups. I just had to cut out all that because I just cussed like it was nobody's business. We have this campaign we're doing with Walmart and I really love the clothes. Sam's now doing it. They ask Sam to do it. And I assumed that the men's sizing was a lot like the women's sizing where you have to go up one. It is not. So what I got, I got you the blue one and then I got you the orange one, right? Yeah. Okay, sorry, crisis averted. So basically I, I love the free assembly line at Walmart. They asked for Sam to do a campaign. So we ordered the clothes and the, the sizing is not the same as the women's. So Sam usually wear large, wears largest, and I told you I thought it looked large. I pulled it out of the bag and I was like, this I, looks I wear big. larges because I don't like tight fit shirts. Yeah, you don't like tight fitted shirts, but I, it looked not big to I'm me. Like tall enough that I need to link. And I he said, like he said, I'm wearing a large right now. And I was like, I looked at a shirt and I was like, yeah, that's true, but it didn't look as big. This, this is a large. So now that I'm back to this and I'm a little less frazzled, basically I'm gonna add we're gonna start out with a one, one, one ratio here. Got one package of the cream cheese. I'm gonna add the fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then she told me it was to add pesto. I think she said she just spreads hers on the bottom. Mm. I feel like I definitely need. Nope, this is good. One package is fine. So I think she said that's all it is. You just spread the cream cheese on the bottom. It was like so easy. And then put pesto on top. <laughs> and then like Good I you, girl. I know. You're so strong. I know. And then I'm gonna um, add the tomatoes in. Ooh, this looks good though. I thought about trying Can to you it. come show them this? So we're doing tonight, what we're doing with our friends is an everything but a cup party. I was thinking about gluing it together and then just drilling a little hole in it to put a straw in. This is what Sam's bringing. <laughs> <laughs> will you this go is get- the, This is the, the bottom part that will actually sit. Will so you please go get the, there's a purple vase. If you walk in my office, that first set of things that you see, there's a purple vase on the very bottom. Will you go get that for me. I need to rinse it out. I completely forgot. So we're doing an everything but the cup party tonight, actually, basically. I actually might really drill a hole in this and put a straw in it. Just to do it. And Sam was out making something. Well, he, he was like, he'd use like- Purple, purple face in your office or in the water? In the, in my office. Big ass face? Yes! What are you drinking tonight? I, well, I'm taking two bottles of wine. I don't know what else to take. I was gonna take a nail polish remover bottle because that's like kind of gross, but I washed it probably 372 times and it still smelled like nail polish remover. And I was like, you know what? I'm just not trying to poison myself. So this is what I'm doing. All right, I gotta throw all this away and I gotta go. We are running late. Hey guys, okay. So I'm not sure if any of the footage really turned out yesterday. I don't know why I told Sam when we got in the car that Walmart situation frazzled me because <laughs> I think it's because I like to have everything done ahead of time. And this like Walmart post that we're doing, the stuff just is showing up at varying times. And for some reason, like usually my Walmart stuff, it all shows up at the same time. And this one's showing up at different times. And then it's like yesterday it came in and it was too big. So I was really frazzled. I don't know if the recipe turned out, but that 
dip was a freaking hit at that party. Everybody loved it, kept coming back for it, kept asking for the recipe, and I told the girl who gave it to me, I was like, this was a hit. Um, I spread it on the bottom of the pan, and then I did a whole jar of pesto, and then diced tomatoes with like roasted chilies, I think is what it said. I think it's what's in it. Um, put it in the oven at 400 for 10 minutes and mixed it together. It wasn't the prettiest dip, but was it not the like- Pesto dip? Yes. Yeah, very good. It was so good. So I think I'm like officially gonna have to be the person that brings that every time we are together. And I just got these little, got these from Ingles. I got a four pack, but there is literally one left. So it's the, oh, it's mini toast. I just saw these in the bakery. And I was like, you know what? Those would actually be great. Like, you know she said was, you could do bread with it. You know what I was thinking? What? That, that pizza dip that your mom makes, those would be great for that pizza dip. It's the pizza dip that your mom makes and takes to the lake all the time. It's like. Oh my gosh, it would be. It just was, um, she said she uses like toasted bread and so I got those and it was a freaking hit. So I'm about to make dinner now. We finished up blog pictures so early. We never finish up this early. It is the best. We're usually leaving right now to go take them. Yeah, I, I guess the sun just like was working with us today. So we were able to like chase shadows. So it felt really good to be done. I wanna show you guys what happened on Insta today. It actually happened. No, I think it was today. It was like midnight. I was still up. You see that right there? Hit 20K on Insta, I cannot believe it. My nails fell off yesterday. Well, one nail fell off. The index finger, it looks like I didn't have glue on there all the way, and then I pulled the rest off, so my fingers were like really sensitive, because it was definitely like, those nails usually stay on a lot longer. Um, so I guess it literally looks like I forgot to put glue on that one, which totally could be on me. But yeah, I noticed I hit 20K this morning, and I was super, super stoked about that. He knows what this is? Yes, he knows what that he is. Just, Are you kidding me? He just smacked the crap out of it. Not you. Not yours. You. Oh, cutie. So Sam has been spoiling someone. Yeah. I'm not going to name who that someone is, but it's someone. Look, he like, he's like, don't rub me. You ain't got no treat. Look at this. Look how cute. Look how cute. Oh, my gosh. He's like, I want to run, but I don't. Look how fluffy he is, look at that shiny fur. Okay, give me one so he'll let me. Sailie, you so cute. Oh, oh, you dropped that, not me, dude. You clean your mess up. Excuse me, sir. What are all those? Doug, clean up your mess. We are not. Douglas. Samuel, he's making a mess. I know, he's being bad. You already got yours. You actually got two, fatty. This Gone is a forever. lot. All right, I'm gonna make dinner. Hey guys, okay, so Sam has the day off. I'm talking to the vlog fam. Sam has the day off and we're dividing and conquering right now. He's about to take the trash off and I gotta run to the store. Um, we woke up this morning and didn't have any coffee. And I was like, hmm, this won't do. We'll have to go to the store today. And then I went to like make my avocado toast and I have one avocado left. And I was like, hmm, this won't do. So I gotta run to the store. Um, but wanted to show you guys my outfit. First and foremost, so Kendra Scott came out with the most beautiful, hold on. Came out with this gorgeous line of like butterfly necklaces. I think it's just necklaces. Let me read the email, hold on. So it's called the Lilia Butterfly Launch. She said it launches, oh. Okay, so it launches on Wednesday. And it is just this gorgeous necklace that has these little dainty butterflies on it. And if you are new here, the gold bar and the star, both family heirlooms. This one has my grandmother's initials on it, which also happened to be my husband's initials. And the gold bar um, was my grandfather's and he collected gold bars before he died, like gold coins and gold bars. And so it just reminded me of him. So I wear it now every day. Um, this is my look for today. I actually just shared this on my Instagram stories. So I have on a white bodysuit from Abercrombie, um, black Target shorts that I love so much. These are like the black version of those jean shorts that I always wore like last summer. And it's actually kind of cold today. So I'm wearing a Walmart, um, camo jacket. I'm not sure if it's still in stock. I hope it is. I got it like, I want to say in the fall time. I love this jacket. And then Steve Madden sandals. 
Um, but I'm not really going to show you my feet that long because one, there's perverts on the internet that like the way my feet look and love to tell me that, which is super creepy. But also, I need a pedicure <laughs> so bad. So, all right, got to run some errands. Also, want to give a shout out to me. You know that like TikTok where it's like Snoop Dogg, I think, and he's like, and lastly, I want to thank me. Yeah, um, it was a year ago today that I started working out. I downloaded a fitness app that I had tried before and failed at so many times because it was actually really hard. She restructured a lot of it. And my mental health and my physical health were just really suffering during lockdown, specifically my mental health. Like I was really struggling. And so I looked up like natural ways to help fight anxiety and depression. And the very first thing I saw was like, go outside, walk. And then the other one was like exercise. And so I went outside and I walked and then and I kind of tried the sweat workout and I never looked back. So it's a year ago today. It's been crazy that it's been like already a year. Um, and of course it was really in January that I like started taking my eating habits seriously. Like before I was counting calories, but now I like make sure I eat like nutrient dense foods like avocados, broccoli, kale. Ooh, kale, air fried kale. Doesn't that sound really good right now, Doug? Just, it's been a long journey, so. Very proud of myself that it was a year ago today, but I did make some trail mix. Got a little trail mix I'm gonna eat in the car on the way to run my groceries. Drinking my, trying to drink 128 ounces of water a day, but it's not working out. We're going, we're kind of sticking with 90 right now, but I'll take it. It's, it, it's okay. We'll get there. <laughs> 